So, I'm Pat Gunn, and we are playing Skyrim. And, uh... And right now we are in Castle Holokar. And we are deal... Uh, we finally reached the, uh, the top of it. And we're dealing with some of the, uh some of the gargoyles that are, or that have uh, infested Valerica's workshop. And for some reason, the gargoyles are not willing to follow me onto this little uh, area in the uh, middle of the floor. So this is an area where a portal will open in a little bit. Maybe that's why. Okay. Up. So I'm scooping up some soul gems and using summons to distract um, to distract the gargoyles and hopefully that should get me some decent experience with uh Conjuration, which again I am working on. I'm not sure if I'm actually going to be able to get away with, with not fighting these guys directly at all, but I am going to make a reasonable effort. And Serana probably will be will be uh, showing up here at some point. I hope. In the meantime, I'm going to collect the plot to uh, plot coupons that I need to uh, advance the quest once she makes it here. Okay, where is it? Uh, this is what I need. And the gargoyle has... One of the gargoyles has been killed by my Frost Hatronach. Unfortunately, I can just kind of sit back and let the... Uh, let my summon take care of most of this stuff. And my summon's doing pretty well. Nice. Good job. Now, there is a chance that I might actually need to head back down to retrieve uh, Serana. I'm hoping that isn't the case, but I don't know if she'll follow me up here uh, if I leave her far enough behind, and I think I left her pretty far behind. Soul gem fragments. Plenty of those. But I do know that I have... There are three things I need to get here. And on the off chance that she will come up on her own, I want to be ready. Okay, so... Lots of ingre uh, alchemy ingredients. So was there something to grab here? No. I think there's one more thing that I need, and I'm not quite seeing it. At least I think there is. Um, it really isn't looking super likely that she's going to come all the way the rest of the way up, so I might actually need to head down and figure out where she went. Maybe the other ingredient was on this table. Ah, oh, dragon bones. That's kind of handy. Wait, what's this? It bone bone meal. Okay. Uh, 
Yeah, so we definitely are just waiting for uh, Serana at this point. I wonder if I can put this stuff in the bowl here with without her being here yet. Doesn't look like it. Okay. So... Down we go, I guess. I wonder exactly how far behind she is. And if she's doing combats right now. Or not. Okay, so there are definitely some gargoyles waiting here. Presumably for me. And I am definitely uh, vaguely near being overburdened at this point. But I do not want to hit my Atronach. doing a pretty good job at staggering my opponents with arrows. It's pretty handy. I wonder if Serana not following me all the way here is an intentional feature to prevent me from uh, skipping this far ahead. So skeletons who know... Okay, I'm hearing her down there. So that sounds promising. Yeah, so we're on a skeleton. That is a good sign. Serana. Sorry about leaving you behind. Who's there? Oh. Uh. Okay, Serana, come on. We don't need to kill everything. Serana! No, don't. Don't. Bloody hell. Oh, oh, that looks painful. She is it. Uh, yes, I've already been up there. Okay, hopefully she will follow me the rest of the way without too much incident. You coming? Come on. No, come here. Over here. Come on. Okay. Good. Good, 
reached the top yet. I bet there's some kind of secret. Page. Yep, been there, done that. Come on. Okay. Come on. Look at this place. This has to be it. I knew she was deep into necromancy. I mean, she taught me everything I know. Yeah, she put the neck in necromancy. She had a setup like Look at all this. She must have spent years collecting these components. And what's this thing? I'm not sure about this circle, but it's obviously something. Oh, that is helpful. Let's take a look around. There has to be something here that tells us where she's gone. You found her journal. Let me take a look at it. I only know what she told me. She had a theory about soul. The soul cairn is... My mother spent a lot of time trying to... That circle... If I'm reading this right, there's a full... A handful of soul je... Oh, damn it. Yeah, We're yeah. also going to need a sample of... Hmm. Anyway, enough of that. Oh, good. Well then, let's head over to the portal vessel and I'll do the rest. Yep. Are you ready to go? I'm not entirely sure what this... Okay, here goes. Huh. So in Portal, I didn't think that the uh, personality spheres were quite that hollow. Hmm. Interesting. So this is a, uh, a separate realm from uh, from Mundus, which is the land of the living in uh, Skyrim. The air, the ground, this is all wrong. Just what my mother... When something is trapped in a soul gem, and then the energy is used for powering an enchantment, the remnants are sent here. Oops. Well, I think it's specifically the black ones. Look at this. The only things that can survive here are the ideal masters, the undead, and the souls themselves. Well, if you want to call that living. Okay, so that is it. We are in a realm where... One moment I'm raising a sword against that necromancer, the next... The next moment I found myself here. What happened? So yeah, some... Whenever somebody... Uh, something sentient is put in a soul, a soul gem and it dies. Instead of being sent to whatever afterlife it would otherwise go to because some uh, some Aedra uh, claimed it, it gets uh, sent here. So it has kind of interesting sky and bizarre uh, otherworldly, uh, otherworldly, um... I can't remember how long I've been here. Has it been a day or a century? Otherworldly architecture. And if you like, you can go and chat with all the undead who retained a human form. Return to the frontline Alessian headquarters at once. 
Lives are hanging in the balance. And there are some undead around. And surprisingly tough undead here. And if you like, you can actually get some uh, some kind of fun spells from uh, from the area. It's a little bit easy to get lost, and your mini map doesn't work uh, very well. And your mini map is also not super useful for for many of these kinds of quests. So. Interesting. And monsters do seem to like coming up uh, from the ground uh, here. Yeah, this is definitely an area where I like to use teamwork because the uh, the critters are so tough. And not or the uh, the realm does seem to have force fields off on both sides to keep you from wandering too far. I'm not sure if that's actually meant to be the end of the realm, I miss the <coughs> or uh, or something else, but but yeah, your ability to wander around is a little bit constrained. If you like, you can collect uh, otherwise not particularly useful stuff and give it to him, but it's kind of pain in the butt to do so, and he gives you items that are so random that a lot of the time you'll be putting a lot of effort into uh, collecting stuff for something that's utterly worthless, so I don't, uh, I don't bother with that. Somewhere over here. So you can find spell books that get you additional summon spells, and those are kind of fun. Not super useful because they're not the most useful uh, summons, but they're thematically interesting. Ah, such weird noises. But yeah, these are those four shields that I was uh, telling you about. And yeah, you, you do get the feeling that maybe uh, maybe there is interesting stuff out there, but there is not a lot you can do about it. We're 
going to keep on working on this stuff. Okay, so these guys are really very dangerous. They uh, they have dragon bone weapons. And in case you haven't been paying a lot of attention, those are top tier weapons. Yeah, so you do want to keep on getting su uh, summons to uh, distract them. Fortunately, you can loot those weapons. Yeah, Dragonbone Battle Axe. That is pretty nice uh, weapon if you happen to want to battle axe. Somewhere around here, there was a ghost. So I thought I saw. So I do too. Was a ghost? Maybe I'm misremembering. But right now I, I'm looking for a summon spell that is particularly useful, and there is one. If you can find it, this is not one of the useful ones. That's Conjurer uh, Rathman. Still, I'm not going to complain for just having it. But you can't actually do anything to them. So you cannot end their misery. The spell I'm looking for actually lets you summon an undead horse. Oh, I don't remember this. I'm not sure where this is taking me. Oh, this actually is a realm that I haven't been to before. Reaper's Lair. Oh, Reaper's Shard. Uh, ooh. Okay, well, it doesn't seem to have anything particularly useful. I guess I can probably put uh, Soul Gem Shards in that, and maybe it will... Well, it looks like it opens that gate somehow. I want to I have a cat who has gotten herself tangled up in my earphone, and I don't want her to pull my ears off somehow. Okay, there we go. Yeah, having a mini-map would be really useful around here, but I'm not seeing... I don't think there's any way to get one of those. Can I actually get on top of this thing? Yeah. But yeah, I'm trying to find the entrance. I know that the, uh, the way to get that summon, which is an undead horse that you can ride, involves going downwards into a pit-like area, but... I'm not seeing the entrance. Aha, uh -huh. but that does look like something up there. Let's see what it is. Aha. Uh -huh. So that causes a lightning strike that transforms the soul gem that you put into it into into a black soul gem. Which is pretty useful. Ow.
Like these guys are getting a pretty impressive number of arrows sticking out of them. Okay, so maybe it's not here. So where am I going? I am... Okay, so I theoretically want to be heading northwest. If I want to reach the actual goal of being here, northwest is the way. And I seem to think... Maybe we can find uh, find the undead horse summon along the way. I just want to make sure that I check out any any sufficiently large structure, particularly if it looks like it uh, it involves uh, heading downwards. Oh man, it's so easy to get lost in here. Okay, so here is... Oh, so it's, it's right ahead, apparently. And it is right there, so... This is what we're looking for. And now I just need to find the person who who is requesting the skull. So yeah, if you do return his skull. Oh, apparently the guy is really just a little bit west of me now. Maybe. right behind me, a little bit east. Ah, there we go. Yeah, so this guy is really a fan of his horse. Um, but yeah, it's it's a pretty useful spell. So uh, that's not what I meant to do. Uh, magic conjuration, summon Arvac, and let me show you what it uh, what it does. So oh, here is Arvac, our undead horse. Unfortunately, Serana will have to just uh, catch up with me, but... It looks like they put an arrow through Arvac's... Uh, body here. That was, that was pretty shitty. Okay. And this is... Mother? Mother? Serana? Is it really you? I can't believe it. How do we get inside? We have to talk. Savannah, what are you doing here? Where's your father? He doesn't know we're here. I don't have time to explain. I must have failed. Harkon's found a way to decipher the prophecy, hasn't he? No, you've got it all wrong. We're here to complete the prophecy our way, not his. Wait a moment. You brought a stranger here? Have you lost your mind? No, you don't. You, come forward. I would speak with you. I'm already forward. Oh, can I not do this while on the horse? 
Apparently not. So how has it come to pass that a vampire of mixed blood is in the company of my <laughs> Safe? Serana has sacrificed everything to prevent... You think I'd have the audacity? The scrolls are merely a means to an end. When I fled Castle, the scroll I pre... The second scroll declares that, like myself, tradition dictates the females be offered to Molik Bol on his summoning you survive the ordeal. Those that do emerge as a pure-blooded vampire. Ugh. We call such confluences the Daughters of Kormar. It's what some call the Domain of Molag Ball. It was expected of her, just as it was expected of me. Being selected as an offering, now you're beginning to see if Harkon obtained Ariel's bow in his eyes. And how exactly do you plan on completing the prophecy? If you believe that, you care nothing. You see the tyranny of this... Serana? A stranger may call herself vampire, but she knows nothing about our struggle. Why should I trust you? This stranger has done more for me in the brief time I've known her than you've done in centuries. How dare you! I gave up everything I cared about to protect you from that fanatic you call a father. Yes, he's a fanatic. He's changed. But he's still my father. Why can't you understand how that makes me feel? If you only open your eyes, the moment your father discovers your role in the huh. So that castle is somehow peering over Serana's face. To protect me, you decided to shut me away from everything I cared about. Oh yeah. So it looks like various bits of the background are clipping incorrectly. Both of you were obsessed with your own paths. Your motivations might have been different, but in the end, I'm still just a pawn to you two. I want us to be a family again. But I don't know if we can ever have that. Maybe we don't deserve that kind of happiness. Maybe it isn't for us. But we have to stop him before he goes too far. And to do that, we need the Elder Scroll. I'm sorry, Saron. I didn't know. Actually, on this, I think Valerica was actually being more sensible here. But, oh well. If you want the Elder Scroll, it's yours. still somewhat unclear to me. For Serana's sake, I'll assist you in any way that I can. Yes. Fortunately, you're in a position. You need to look at their bases. Destroy the keepers that are tending. One more word of warning. The ideal masters have charged him with overseeing the keepers, and will undoubtedly intervene if you're perceived as a threat. Okay, so now we need to go and kill two more keepers, because we already had the fortune of uh, wiping one out. Fortunately, it looks like it's marked on the compass, so this should be reasonably simple. We might swing through these structures to see if we can get any additional summons. If they, uh, if they happen to look useful. And somewhere up ahead is yeah. Looks like there's some monsters there. Let's see if there are any spell books in here. Or anything else interesting in here for that matter. So these are kind of irritating uh, glowy things that will drain your health. Uh, and the solution is just you don't want to stick around near them for too long. There's not, uh, not a lot that you can do uh, to protect yourself apart from maybe healing yourself pretty often. So just uh, just limit your exposure and you should be fine. I hope I'm still heading in the right direction. Yeah, so I want to be heading west, 
And unfortunately, the other keeper is almost due east, so... Maybe this is a good time to uh, take Arvac. Now, Skyrim, it is pretty cool that, that you can use a horse uh, in the game, but your horses tend to be kind of fragile. Oh, and there is... Yeah, we're going to switch to a Bound Sword and our Shield, and let's see if we can actually manage this. It's going to be tough, though, because, again, Ebony weapons, they're nothing to laugh at. Yeah. And these guys do seem to have pretty good health. Yeah, so, fortunately they are, okay, nice. And Dragonbone Mace, looking good. Unfortunately the other one is again almost completely on the other side of the world, so we are going to... Now you'll notice these weird gates. I think you can use vampire spells to open them up. But I am not gonna really bother. I... No, where are you going? Don't run off. Okay. So this time we have a fairly long hike eastwards uh, to make. Let's see, how can I get to where I need to go. Oh, uh, not that helpful. Okay. But yeah, I, I tend to not to by uh, regular horses in the game, just because it was all too easy to just find a dragon and your your damn fool horse would just go and charge right at the dragon as if, if it, as if it were going to kick it to death. And next thing you know, you have a dead horse. And I actually kind of get uh, attached to the creatures and the NPCs in the game. And I felt bad having my horse die. I mean, yes, I know it's not a real uh, creature, but as as humans are creatures of story, it makes sense that we would uh, feel guilty or unhappy when things that seem to be creatures end up uh, fighting it. So, okay, so this is right back where we were before. But to make it to where we need to go, we're going to head further east. The other option would be to transform into Vampire Lord form, and uh, that's another way to move more quickly. Okay, so we're going to keep this handy. Maybe I got off my horse a little bit too early.
That is weak. Deeply weak sauce, dude. Yeah, so those are uh, teleportation stations. They just beam you up to a particular spot. Hey dude, what's up? Huh, lots of critters up here. Well, people rather. Ouch. Oh, and this is one, the most dangerous keeper. He has uh, a bow and arrow and he does quite a lot of damage. And I now save again just in case. Let's get our sword out and... But fortunately, oh, well no, that didn't quite work. If you can chop him off the tower, or otherwise push him off the tower, then that kills him. So, we are done here. Yeah, it is a little bit ridiculous, but what can you do? Now, if, if we could find his, his corpse, we could loot... Um, we could loot uh, that, uh, that bow. So we're just heading straight west, I think. Yeah. But that can be kind of an ordeal, so I'm not going to bother. Particularly because at this point in the game, I can actually craft those bows and swords. If you are not in that circumstance, then it might really make sense for you to... Uh... Oh, looks like... I'm not actually nearly far enough west to do what I need, so... Yeah, it's over here. So yeah, if you aren't going to get your smithing to 100 and make uh, Dragonbone weapons, you will definitely want to loot those guys. So you also get a little bit less benefit from it because you won't be able to improve the weapons quite as much, but still, it's it should be good enough. Okay. You managed to destroy all three keepers. Very impressive. Yes. Keep watch for Donovere. With the prison's barrier down, he's almost certain to investigate. Okay. And Serana is still run still heading uh, over here. So I will walk forward and hopefully meet her where the elder. Uh, where the Elder Scroll is. Oh, actually, I'd forgotten. Um, yeah, this we actually do have to kill this dragon. So let's, let's get ourselves a Frost Atronach and be ready to cut down some foes. Now, you, you can uh, spend more or less time on the uh, creatures that Dinovir summons. Now, fortunately, you actually have two vampires here to help you. 
And two pretty powerful vampires at that. Oh shoot, where is... That's definitely a miss there. But yeah, Denevere, he is not super healthy at this point, so... My armor rating is good enough that... Aha! Hello! And that is it! Good. And as an alchemist, she has been doing pretty well for herself. Apparently she she must have brought all this stuff with her because it, it's not like she's going to have the chance to harvest much of it while she's uh, here. Okay. And that's another Elder Scroll for me. Now that you've... I have... If I return to Tamriel, I appreciate your... Remember that Harkon is not... And promise me you'll keep my daughter safe. I shall do my best. And now we need to return to the world. And Serana apparently has been interested in just hanging out back here. What are you doing? Uh... Hopefully that'll get you to stand up and stop doing that. No, don't just duck there again. Oh well, hopefully you'll follow me. Yes? No? Maybe so? Anyhow, occasionally it helps to shout at NPCs if they get stuck, but oftentimes their AI just gets confused and, yeah, sometimes there's not a lot you can do for them. And there is Dunavir again. Stay your weapons. I would speak with you, Quanarin. Cursed, not dead. Doomed to exist in this form for eternity. Trapped between Lars and Enoch. Between life and death. So it's kind of impressive that the, uh... I believe in civility among seasoned wars. That Bethesda has actually created a reasonable a uh, num reasonable subset of the dragon language for uh, for the game laws have rendered the flesh of you i therefore honor you my desire i merely wish to for countless before this i roamed the sky i fear that if i ventured far from the soul camp, i will play do me this simple honor and i will fight at you Trivial in your mind, perhaps. For me, I don't require an answer, Quinarin. In my language, you are the Dovagin, the Dragonborn. You may not be one of us in body, but you have earned the right to bear this title. There was... 
the Dova rolled the sky. I was. But I, I began to explore what the Dova call Elok Dillon. The ancient forbidden, the ideal. In return, I was to I discovered too late. They had control of my mind. Free? No. The soul caring has... I only hope that you will allow me the precious moments of time there through your call. Yeah, so he does look kind of ratty, but... Okay, so off we go. So we're going to return to the world. Now, the, there are a few little side quests that you can do, as I said, mostly involving collecting the, the items that are just lying around uh, here. But I'm not all that, uh, that interested in doing them. But this is a really cool place, so if you do want to spend more time here, um, then there are uh, some things to do. You could try and, for example, get more of the uh, spell books that are in the area. I picked up one. I believe that there's two more. And then there are the collecting the husks. And there are also things that you can collect from some of the fissures in the ground. And you can con uh, collect... The, one of these dudes is a poet. And you can try and collect uh, his uh, poetry. But mostly I just care about having this summonable horse because you can uh, summon him in the world of the living too. I wonder if I can climb the stairs with him. Oh, apparently yes. Maybe. Seems to work so far. Oh, okay. Dismount horse before going through door. Maybe climbing this far up on the stairs doesn't work and I need to climb down and then climb back up again a little bit more? Yeah, seems so. So, that's that. We now have two of the three Elder Scrolls that you can get in Skyrim. Unfortunately, these things are heavy. They weigh 20 pounds a piece. And only one of them, uh, you can only get rid of one of them through normal means. Okay, so we are home. So. Oh, what is it? Oh, okay. Well, then I guess we're done. I don't remember if there is an exit up here that we can use or if we have to run all the way back down through the castle. I know that later on you can ask for an... Uh, aha, this looks promising. Yes, the balcony opens now. Great. Yeah, later on, depending on how things go, there are ways to make it much easier to get uh, to there. That's a little bit later in these uh, quest lines. he will, but at that point, you won't need either of us anymore. You'll have shown yourself to and I'll be unnecessary once he has it. 
I think you know. We both know what's going on. Keep strong and eyes open. We're on a different path now. Okay, so let's see, we are at 528 out of 550. We do need to reduce our uh, our weight somehow. So we are going to head, what is this? I don't know who Kajar is, but might as well uh, see what's going on there. But otherwise we're going to return home to Riften and drop off some stuff in our house. hate these things. Mainly the, the car sweepers. Uh, we aren't being asked to go inside. Uh, we are being asked... Okay, so it's roughly this this direction. Which means it is down by the docks. I don't quite remember who Kajar is. But I believe that we're going to end this uh, chapter... by speaking with whoever Kajar is. Or whomever, I suppose. Okay, up and up. I wish the Nords are millions of dark elves and wind of the dark land. The Nords don't hate us. So what? I don't appreciate them. Don't I like don't. those eyes. Fine work. Here's your pay. Don't spend it all on me. That would be a hell of a lot of need. Okay. Look, we don't have much love for your docks can be a dangerous place. Don't expect me to save you. We're used to Torbjorn. He says an Argonian's lit. You can try, but we've got no way of talking to him ourselves. So as I mentioned earlier, has we have this area is run by Ulfric, would be and his rebellion is kind of uh, racist. I enjoyed our talk. So, I'm Pat Gunn. This has been Skyrim.